Hello YouTube. I found this 486 motherboard with uh, memory and the processor and the CPU cooler. And what's nice about this board is the four PCI slots and the two phaser local bus slots. So let's try this motherboard and see if it still boots. I have several ISA video cards, so it's a good time to try them out on this board. When connecting old AT power supplies, make sure the black wires are in the middle. I don't know if any of these sparks work, so let's try it out. The numlock is working, so let's swap out the video card. Let's try it out with this AT 3D Rage. That sounds better. And we have a display. The memory is two sticks of 8 megabytes, but it only shows 12 megabytes. So I'm now going to try one uh, stick at a time to see if one of the sticks is broken. This stick shows 8 megabytes, so let's test the other one. Okay, this stick shows also 8 megabytes. I found the settings from this motherboard online and here's something about the drum bunk settings so let's try it out if that helps. Now it sees 60 megabytes of memory. In the BIOS there's a setting for the VGA type. So let's try it to set it to face a local bus ISA and see if the ISA cards work. On this board all the VGA ISA cards have failed. <laughs> Let's reset the BIOS. The system has 256 kilobytes of cache installed, 60 megabyte of IBM memory, a contact chipset, 486 DX4 120 megahertz CPU. It has four PCI slots, two ESA slots, and two Phaser Local Bus slots. I now need to find a Phaser Local Bus EO controller to build a system around this board. This kind of battery is the reason why many boards die. They leak and they destroy the motherboard. This one has, has a bit 
of damage so I can replace it. I found all the settings of this motherboard on the internet. Now I know that the hardware is ok, I gonna look for parts to make it into a system. I cut some Soundblaster Pro cards, so I think I gonna use it for this system. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video, subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.